Hey, this is Russ. Recently, I released a video on making a Sabatasso pizza single inside the Breville toaster oven. And I was a little disappointed how the crust turned out. It wasn't really as crispy as I liked. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you a video, video snippet here of what that looked like from the previous video. So let's give this a try. And uh, it seems to be pretty firm. The bottom seems still to be a little bit uh, soft, right in the middle. Now let's, let me look at this pepperoni one. Same thing, middle seems to be soft. Outer edges are pretty, pretty crusty. Uh, that's what's actually holding this up. But I don't know if you can see, but if I push in the middle, you see the middle actually moves. So that is not as crispy. Now you can see from the video, it wasn't quite as crisp. It's kind of moving in there. So one of our viewers, Beverly, suggested that I use a cast iron skillet inside the toaster oven to crisp up that, that crust. And the more I thought about it, I said, yeah, that's actually very smart. I had thought in the past to make a cast iron pizza because I know a lot of people do that and there's got to be something to it. And so there's absolutely no reason why this can't work. So we're going to take the Sabatasso Pizza Singles pepperoni pizza and put it in the cast iron skillet. All right. So let's go ahead and give that a try and see how that works. So before we do this, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, cooking spray here. And I'm going to spray the cast iron a little bit to give it a little bit to, to work with so the pizza doesn't stick on here. So let's go ahead and open this up here. And I'm going to preheat the oven. Now I have the oven set up for 400 degrees for 13 minutes. Now this is not going to hit 400 degrees right away. It's going to have to do a little bit of preheat. So as this is preheating, we'll keep the cast iron on the, on the stove here on, on a low setting because that's already been preheating for a while. And uh, we'll just wait until this is up to temperature. Okay, the oven has reached the preheated temperature of 400 degrees, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to open up the pizza. Take this right out here. Here's the pizza. I'm going to take the skillet now and just put it on here. And we're going to put it in the toaster oven. <laughs> this should work out pretty good, I'm thinking. So we got 13 minutes to wait. Once we're done in 13 minutes, Sabatasso Pizza Singles. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, the light has kicked in, which means we have about under 30 seconds now before our pizza is finished. What I like about this Breville unit is the light does let you know, and you can uh, you kind of see inside there and make decisions whether you need to increase time or not, but 13 minutes is plenty for this pizza. And we've got six, five, four, three, two, and one, and we should be done. So, I'm gonna cancel our cook here. Now keep in mind that the cast iron skillet is extremely hot. You definitely need to have some type of protection on your hand. And if you look at this, it looks pretty good. Let's just slide that off here. So this is what it looks like, and it looks pretty good on the top to me. Let's see what the bottom looks like. I'm gonna flip this over. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this thing is crunchy now. It actually looks pretty good. Let me, let me show the camera again here. That's what the bottom looks like. It looks really good. And of course, I'm, uh, I'm stalling because we're not gonna eat this right away. This pizza's rather hot and of course this is cheese so it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty hot so let's give this a try oh yeah see this this doesn't move this barely moves at all when I'm pushing on the bottom oh yeah this is much better much much better the crust is really good on the bottom Okay, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Get yourself a cast iron skillet, 
put these pizzas inside there, put a little bit of vegetable oil spray on the skillet, put the pizza on there, stick the entire skillet inside the toaster oven. That's gonna make a huge difference in the quality of the crust. In fact, going forward, pizzas are always gonna be in cast iron. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Hey, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely hit the bell icon because that'll tell you when new videos from me come out. Get yourself a Sabatasso pizza and stick it in that cast iron. I'll talk to you guys later.